Good morning, church. My name is Boni Sognene, a pastor from South Africa. Oh, this is my wife. Go slow about the family issue, because that is what is troubling you too much. What you said is true. Go slow, let God give you your own property. Because trouble, trouble, trouble. Men of God, what do you say? And they are put responsibility in your hands to take care of everything. But I see trouble, family trouble, property, people fighting. I'll start with the land issue. We've got property in Eswatini because we grew up there, but we're living in South Africa now. And um, before my father passed on, we met at Christmas, and uh, he was saying to me, we need to take care of this piece of land, and uh, we need to fence it, but he was talking that I must take responsibility of fencing those pieces of land. But since I was young, this has been the issue that I'm always alone out of the nine children. The major are three properties. It's true, they are. There are three huge properties in the city. There are nowhere to stand. It is only you who has some money. So they are put, or even the father put all the responsibility in your hands. My dad passed on, they couldn't wait for me to come back. They buried him yesterday. They called us for money to ask for money to bury him. And the girl decided to leave where she is. She decided to come back to terrorize the family. The girl with the big bum. The lady with the bum, I can only think of my niece that we took her when she was eight years with my wife, just when we got married because my wife had a dream about her going to struggle if we don't take her in. And we brought her up, she's at university now, doing third year, she's going for her final year. But there's always been an issue with her because the people are able to draw information from her about us. And um, we end up, every time we go home, there's a meeting for us, against us. There is prayer going on. All well, is ready. It's a couple from South Africa receiving a prayer for their deliverance. The woman Habar is is she still alive? Yes, she's alive. My name is Twali Silogunene from South Africa. Yes, what you said, man of God, is true. She wants you to. Be Habaris. Yes, it's true, man of God. Yes. To be Sangoma. The Lord Jesus Christ is setting them free. Mm, the name of the Lord. Father, dear children, have mercy upon them. Rise up. Up. The young girl who likes singing, where is she? She's in which class? Who likes music? She's in she's grade in seven. Grade seven? Yes, she's uh, my daughter. Take care, she will be the new Miriam Makeba. <laughs> she will be known all over the world. She likes music. She can break, she can do eh? everything. She can do gymnastics, singing, everything. She's she likes music. Like she likes music and she's been struggling because she has a bit of a deep voice. So she was feeling intimidated by the sopranos. So I've been encouraging her to say, no, your voice is beautiful. She knows even how to compose. Praise the Lord. She already has three songs. Praise the Lord. Miriam Makeba. Take care of the girl. 